guys, it's Amy from Now Polish Baby 90 and welcome to today's video. Today we are here with a Harry Potter chit chat. If you haven't seen any of my other Harry Potter videos, I will link them down below for you. But basically here, we go through every Harry Potter polish that I have in my collection. We talk about the Potter, we talk about the polish, we do all that good stuff. So, let's get into today's polishes. Um, the first two that we have are a Lumos and Knox Duo. These are by Sparkly Now Polish, which was a UK brand. They unfortunately don't um, exist anymore, but these polishes are obviously representing Lumos and Knox. I think that they go together really well because they are very complementing polishes. They look very similar, but we have one in the brighter gold here for Lumos, and then Knox is kind of like the black equivalent. And they have lots of little actual tiny, tiny bar glitters. Um, and the bar glitters aren't for everybody, but I think for me, it really represents sense light very very well either that you just like snuffed out a candle and you get that the kind of wisps afterwards or when you first turn off a light there's like those beams of light from a wand I think that 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 in, in the polishes really represents them really well so as I say we'll just flash them up here Lumos is this goldy shimmery base with those bar glitters and then Nox is the black jelly equivalent and they have more silver holographic glitters in there they're more obvious the silver holographic in Nox than in Lumos um, and for any brands that are still existing I will link the indie sellers down below I have a couple from Night Owl Lacquer. They do really great Harry Potter polishes. The first one is called Dragons. And this is from the first ever Fandom Flakies box that they took part in. And this is gorgeous. This is a charcoal -y base within a ton of warm, multi-duochrome flakies in this thing. Let's try and think. No, duochrome. They are more of the um, orange, pink, yellow kind of spectrum. Um, and I think that they are just absolutely stunning. And I think that it really represents the dragons really well, which is kind of like earthy base. Then you have like the warm, fiery flakes, like the fire of the dragon's breath. Um, so that one I think really matches that really, really well. Oh, I should have said that was like a direct reference to the dragons in the uh, Goblet of Fire challenge. That's what that polish is meant to be representing. The other one I then have is um, called Love is Powerful Magic. And I have quite a few coming up, um, if not in this video, in others, which are from the Duos Month that they did in Polish Pickup. So this was a duo, so I have both halves. But the first one is Night Owl Lacquer, Love is Powerful Magic. Now, when I'm reading that, I would think that um, this is representing of... Um, Harry's mum Lily but um, it's not it's actually this is meant to be representing of Molly Weasley and I guess showing how Molly is like this wholesome character who when she comes to fight Bellatrix which we're going to talk about in a minute um, she becomes very protective and she's going to protect her children uh, which is shown in the films and in the books um, really really well but to me like I say love is powerful magic to me it automatically goes through to Lily jumping in front of Harry in the very very start of the story but this is a stunning polish it is another duochrome and there's a ton of flakies in there you can see that beautiful pink flash to it um, and it just overall is very I guess like love to me and normally it's like pinks and purples and like daintiness and I guess this that is this you get all these different shifts of colors but it is very feminine and very light um, so overall like love is powerful magic is um, represented really well and if you want to say if it is Molly Weasley I would say that um, to me the Weasleys are more um, autumnal shades so I think this being overall a darkish polish so we have the purple and the pink I would say it would, it would represent a Weasley to me I, I'll give them that the Bellatrix shade is called the Law Dark Lord's Most Loyal Servant and it is this gorgeous teal um, holographic and then there is also in there some large multi-chrome flakes. I think this fits Bellatrix really well. She's obviously representative very normally very dark. Um, I don't know if her cloak is green. I would say maybe she's a bit of a dark greeny cloak. She's obviously a Slytherin, Dark Lord and all, all, all like the darkness darkness in Harry Potter is always associated with green to me um, so I just think that that fits really really well and um, her being a holographic I, I can see that as always in these videos we have some palish so we have three here for you the first one is called Expelliarmus the spells can kind of be whatever color you want unless we are shown a like a light from the wand being a certain colour. So Expelliarmus from Palish is a teal holographic, a light teal holographic. And I could say each to their own really with those. The Dark Mark is a uh, purple jelly base with teal flakies. I really, really like this one. And I think that it fits it really, really well. I guess the Dark Mark are we, are we referring to is either their, their tattoo on their arm or the mark in the sky. And I feel again that 
kind of goes like is like a greeny kind of color to me um so hitting that and this being it i think it just all that's also like it's a bit of a mysterious thing so that you have the purple base but then you have the green flecks and it kind of shows how like the mark is obvious but still hidden um might be looking a bit too deep into it but i thought that one fit this theme really well and the last one from Palish is nine and three quarters, which is this deep, a little bit green, a little bit teal with a ton of golden flakies in there. Um, platform nine and three quarters is always kind of depicted in the films as quite like a dark place, especially in what was that? What one of the later films, especially? I always get the films like muddled up in my mind like the last three always seem to blur together a little bit um but yeah nine and three quarters has always seemed to me as a bit of a darker place um so that fit well the only thing obviously then that's more hogwarts i'll say maybe red but then that's probably specifically for the hogwarts express not for the platform itself so again artistic liability you can kind of do whatever you want with that as well we have one Stella Chroma, and this one is also Expelliarmus. Um, and out of the two that I've just shown, I would say this one is possibly more spell-like to me. So Palish is that straight-up linear hollow, and then the Stella Chroma Expelliarmus, which came out in Cast a Spell Box, um, is um, a reddy pink base with a uh, yellow flash and multi-chrome. So there's a lot more like magic going on. And to me, when you have a mixture of a ton of things, which Glam Polish does really well, I'm going to mention Glam Polish in a minute. Where you have shimmers and flakies and this and that. To me, that makes them more magical, and therefore I'm sold more on the fact that they are a magical polish. I don't know, that's just me. I'm very happily and easily pleased with a big mixture of loads of different elements into a polish. Um, so that's Stella Chroma Expelliarmus. We then have from that same polish pickup month the only one he ever feared, and this is meant to be a mixture of Dumbledore and Voldemort when they had that jewel in the Ministry of Magic. Um, and obviously representing that the only one he ever feared was Dumbledore. Um, and this is a duochrome with a ton of um, holographic silver micro glitters in there. So it definitely is, I guess, when you see that a lot of the Harry Potter visualizations that we see are very jewel toned and very multi-chrome and transformative. So I think the multi-chromes always work really well with Harry Potter polishes. And specifically in that door where you've got the two colors kind of like swirling around each other and, and the zaps of the wands, I think all, all of that kind of together comes from quite a multi-chrome effect. And therefore I think it's really good. And we have the holographic as maybe like the spells and um, the pops in the air of things going on. Um, so yeah. Again, really, really like that one for the themes. That was Never Enough, the only one he ever feared. And I think Never Enough has done a ton of Harry Potter polishes, but I don't own that many. So I would possibly like to try more from Never Enough because I've seen and heard really great things about the Harry Potter stuff. We have two Lynn B designs. The first one is called Amortentia, which is obviously the love potion and it is a pink polish. That's kind of the only criteria I have. I have another Amortentia in my collection um, and this is quite a... Um, metallic finish very very silver based pink um, so happy with that one that worked really well and then from their spells they have potions and spells and they've just released more spells and um, this is ACO and again this could be anything you really wanted um, it is a black base with then um, warm multi I, I don't really know how to describe this um, there's like little bits in there, little flakies that you can see which are mainly like in this kind of like rusticy red and on your nails it looks like black with like rusty red and then they kind of shimmer to like a yellow green kind of effect to them so it's a bit of a transformative polish very hard to describe in my mind anyway i'm sure on the website there was probably a perfectly adequate description um, but that one was aco we have two from Glam Polish. We have You're Just As Same As I Am, which is a Luna Love Good reference. And to me, again, Luna is very purple. And then we have the Espence of the Quibbler, which is always very like, pink and purple, and her wearing those glasses. All of that together makes me Luna being purple. And purple with this beautiful pink flash. And then there's also some kind of greeny flakes and shimmers in there. Um, I think Luna is very light, bright, a colour in amongst the what's going on. She's very, very light. You have the blonde hair, and like I say the purple and the glasses everything all together she's a very light and bright character so for me my criteria for Luna um, pretty much is to me she is purple um, so you're just the same as I am was a good one and then we have um, Revelio which is a spell polish and this came out in the uh, Fantastic Beasts 
2 collection they brought out. Um, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. So she's obviously the spell for reveal. And I love white nails. White nails are stunning. And this has some flakies in there. And also, if you can see, has a flash. And the flash is sometimes very purple, sometimes very green. But um, overall, I think it's very, very clean. And again, mystical and magical. Um, it has a few different elements to it, which is what I like for spell polishes. We have one more. Um, and this is Underwater Secrets, which is from a girly bits and this came out in Hella's Handmade Creations um, last year. Occasionally they do bring the polishes back and I have ordered some older ones from girly bits through Hella's Handmade Creations that should be coming soon. Um, and this is representative of the Underwater Trial um, and the Underwater Secrets, I think is in the song that comes out of the egg in the Goblet of Fire. And this is just beautiful. It looks like an underwater murky, because uh, obviously it's in a lake, it's not a clear water, where it is um, this green base with a ton and ton and ton of tiny little flakies in here and uh, little speckles. So it's almost like the sand and the silt in the water. Um, and then the green I, I think this is so stunning. When I saw it, I knew I had to have it. This is one of the one of the, my top Harry Potter polishes um, that I have in my collection. It is definitely this one. So if you can grab this at any point, I really would recommend it. Um, so that one's Underwater Secrets, girly bits. So that is the latest round of Harry Potter polishes. I am always buying, and there will be more of these videos coming. Um, let me know down below what Harry Potter polishes you own, or what ones that I should grab. Give me a thumbs up, subscribe, and I will see you soon.